Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're introducing the brand new set of Hoi Meidi and its coordinating dies. These pirates are so cute, so let's go ahead and check them out. First we have this cute little girl pirate, and then a little boy pirate there. We've got a pirate ship, and of course a treasure chest. We also have some palm trees for setting the scene, and a cute little lake too. We also have some mountains, and a little map there, a little treasure map. This cute little parrot that can hang out on his shoulder there. Uh, some little coins and a gem too. We also have these little wavy lines that are perfect for creating little ocean waves in your scenes. We've got this great little compass. An X marks the spot. And then we have some wonderful sentiments. So we have happy birthday and ahoy. And matey could go after each of those there. And we have a little comma to put there too. We also have your a. Uh, and then we've got treasure, which that font is so fun. It looks like a treasure map. And then my favorite sentiment, the you are awesome. We've got thanks. And then for showing me the way, which is really great for Father's Day cards, which is coming up. And then we have an exclamation point to add to the ends of the phrases. I'm using my Copic markers to add some color to these images. And I'm doing just some simple shading with two markers, just adding some shading underneath her hair and kind of underneath her clothes into her skin tone there. And I'll give her some rosy cheeks and blend out those rosy cheeks. And now I'm going to give her a red skirt and a red bandana. I just love that kind of classic red bandana look. And so that R39 there is just going to give me that extra little darkness right in those corners that really gives it that nice three dimension. And then I thought some turquoise would go really well with that red. I just love these little pirates. They're just so cute. And then next up, I'm going to start coloring the other pirate here. So I'm going to give him some brown hair, adding the shading under the hat. And then I'm going to use some same browns for the rest of his outfit too. So everything kind of is going to coordinate together. And I'm just adding some simple shading on the outside and then blending in towards the inside. You'll see that I always lay down my light marker and then my dark marker over that. And that's to wet the paper a little bit so it's easy to blend my two markers together. Then I blend into that white area and it almost creates three shades. Now here I'm just touching the light marker to the dark marker to help me blend the two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend here. I'm gonna be really careful with my blending since there's all that little detail around that skull shape. And so I'm just gonna put my lightest marker right towards in the center there. And then next I'm going to color in this cute little parrot and I'm mixing in some of that kind of turquoisey color with the green to give him that tropical parrot look. Next I'm coloring the boat in that same fashion. So I laid down my lightest marker, my medium, then my darkest, then I'm blending out with my medium and then blending out with my lightest one into that white area. Now the reason I leave those white areas is when you keep layering the markers over each other, even with one color, it gets darker. So I always like to leave one little area white to make sure I'm not going over and over again too much to really get the true color of the marker right towards the lightest part of my image. So you'll see I'm doing that again. I'm kind of blending out into that light area and you can see how nice and light that looks. Now here I'll just be blending down and just by adding just a little bit of darkness right under the edge of the top of the treasure chest really gives that cool three dimensions. So I added extra dark there and extra dark around the little coins too. And then I'll be blending these ones out in towards the center and I like how those E51 and E53 kind of almost look like a like a gold that's a little tarnished with which I think is really cool. Next I'll be coloring in the little gold coins and I really love that Y28 for the little kind of gold edges of them. It kind of makes them look like weathered tre old treasure. And then E31 and E34 I really love for the treasure map because I feel like it gives it that kind of old treasure map look. I'll be using the same colors there for the palm trees and you'll see that I'm repeating some of the same colors around these images and that's so that everything's really going to coordinate nicely on the cards. So it's like okay I use that one for the treasure map so why don't I use that for the bases of the trees too and I love how it really ends up coordinating and looking really nice and kind of matching. Now coming up I'm going to show you a little trick with that smallest ocean wave and if you layer that smallest ocean wave on the mountains it actually gives them a little snow cap so it was sized perfectly to either look like a wave or to be the little snow cap on the mountains which I think looks really really cool. 
Now here are the coordinating dies which you can bend apart at the tabs or separate with your wire snips. And then I'm just gonna take that coordinating die and line it up with my stamped image. And I'm gonna use some post-it note tape which is some nice low tack tape to hold all my dies in place and then run them through my die cutting machine. And here you can see that I can pop out my little characters right out of those dies. And I just love how they look, they look so cool. And here are all the characters. I love how many images there are in this set. And when you color them in all those bright colors, they're just so happy and fun. And I love how the parrot can kind of hang out on the pirate there on either one of his arms. And they can also hold hands, which is just way too adorable. I love it so much. Now here I'm using the new stitched cloudy backdrop and I'm going to die cut it from some of the watercolor wishes paper and you'll see how beautiful this stitch detail is. It's subtle but gorgeous and I love it on that watercolor wishes paper. Now here are the new Ocean Hillside pop-up add-ons, but instead of using them for the pop-up, I'm actually just going to layer them onto my card. And then here I have some craft paper that I'm going to cut with a simple stitched hillside to be my kind of sandy island that the pirates are going to hang out on. After I kind of saw where that hill was, it was just a little too high, so I just trimmed off a little piece, and then I'm gonna stamp my favorite sentiment, which is the Ahoy Matey, you are awesome. And then of course, I'll add my little comma in there too. And then I can start to layer some of my pieces. So I'm gonna put this first ocean piece on with some nice just tape runner there, so it's nice and flat. And then I'll add some pop dots there to the other ocean piece. And you'll see that there's little the, the little gap that makes it the uh, pop-up add-on, and we're gonna fix that in a second. So now here I'm gonna add a bunch more foam dots to my hill and layer that on top too. And then now I can start to layer my different pieces. So I'm gonna have this little boat hanging out there. I've got my cute little pirates. And then here I'm gonna take the negative leftover piece of my die cut and cut out that little rectangle there. Just trim it right off. And then I can layer that into my space there to cover it up. And you can still see it a little bit, but then we're gonna layer the palm tree over that and you're just not gonna see it at all, which is really cool. So now you can use those pop-up add-ons for kind of two different styles of card. So here I'm gonna start layering everything with some pop dots. I've got my little palm trees there. And of course this cute little shark fin from the new little mini set called Donna. And it just cracks me up. It makes me think like the boat is trying to get away from that shark. Now here I'm gonna trim down some chili pepper cardstock to be a nice little border, which is gonna go well with the, the little pirate girl's kind of bandana and everything. I think it's gonna pick up some fun colors. I'm gonna layer that onto a card base and then take my entire scene and layer that on top. And that is my card. I love how cute and happy it is and I cannot wait to send it to someone. Now next up, I am going to be making a card which is inspired by a card by Shari. So thank you so much, Shari. And here I've cut and colored out a bunch of images and I'm gonna take the new outside in stitched rectangle stackables and I am gonna cut some craft cardstock with it. So you'll see it does the outside stitching and then the inside stitching. And that's gonna give me a five and a quarter by four inch piece to work with. Now this is another new die. I'm using all this new stuff. It's just so much fun. And so this new die is called Stitch Trails. And they're meant to be kind of trails for like planes and birds, but it looks really cool as little trails on a treasure map too. So I'm gonna kind of line these up in different spots on my little piece of cardstock here, run it through my die cut machine and pop those off. And now it's gonna look like those little trails that you see in a treasure map. So I'm lining these up all around, kind of trying to give this look of trails kind of going every which way along here. Now to get the trail that I wanted for the middle, I needed to layer a couple dies. So I used the little short one there. Now I'm gonna layer this one and I'm gonna partially die cut it by only putting that little mat right there halfway through the card. So now I've got a stitch trail going there and then I can finish it off with something going up in the other direction. So I love that you can kind of build your own custom trail with the dies with partial die cutting too. And so now I've got some really awesome trails going and it's time to make this look like an old weathered treasure map. So I'm taking some tea dye distress ink and I am layering it onto the card, but I'm being really messy with it because the messier it looks, the more it looks like an old treasure map. And then here I'm taking vintage photo and just going around the edges with that darker color. And you can see how beautiful it's looking and that distress ink is actually picking up those stitch trails and making them more prominent too. 
So here I'm going to stamp my sentiment, ahoy, happy birthday, and stamp my little comma too. And then I can start stamping everything around my treasure map to make it look like this is a map that's been drawn out. So we've got our cute little ocean waves, that little compass there. I'm not sure that's the right term for it, but we'll call it a compass. We've got some gems and some gold coins. And here I'm marking right in the middle of this cardstock. And right here you'll see I have a brand new die and it's called Lift the Flap. I'm creating some pencil guidelines to help me line up these dies. So I'm going to create that line right there and then one right down the center. And those lines there are going to help me line up my first flap. So I'm going to line that right up and then I'm going to run it through my die cut machine. And this is the smallest from Lift the Flap. There's actually three different sizes of flaps. But here you're going to see how cool this is. It's cut this flap into my treasure map. So now I'm going to layer one right there to the left of it pull that one up and then just kind of mimic that on the other side to give myself three flaps on one card. And I love the stitching detail and how it goes with the stitch trails. I'm going to erase those pencil lines there. And now to make everything really coordinate and kind of make those flaps stand out some, we're going to add some ink to them. So first I'm going to fold along the embossed score line that the die created for me so that I can have those flaps nice and moving, kind of making this a cool interactive card. And then I'm going to take that same tea dye distress ink and go all the way around the edges of those flaps. And that's just going to define them and just make them not get lost in the whole treasure map. I'm also adding some tea dye distress ink to the back of them since people are going to see the back when they lift the flap on the card. Now here I have some cream cardstock. I'm gonna to cut to a standard size card, five and a half by four and a quarter, but I want this to look old and aged too. So I'm using antique linen distress ink and using my foam and blending tool to go all the way around the edges. And you can see kind of trying to make it not perfect. And then I'm going into the center some too, because we're gonna see the center when we lift those flaps. And you'll see how messy it looks, but that's what makes it look really cool. And then I also added some tea dye ink on there too, to kind of match the layer that's gonna be on top. Now I'm adding tape everywhere but those flaps and then layering that right on to my card base. And now I can start to layer my images. So I'm just putting some tape runner on the back of all of them and then layering them into those little flaps. And I can't get over how cute this is. It's just so adorable with them peeking out of those flaps. And then I'm going to decorate the front too. So I'm gonna add those cute little images. The little boat there is gonna be kind of going across the map too. And I'm adding just tape just to one side of those. That way on the other side, there's no tape. So those flaps can still mark you know, move freely. And then of course, X marks the spot for the treasure. So wait till you see this. It's so cute when you see everything revealed and then the little treasure in the center. So it's fun and interactive, but really, really easy to do too. And I love making the treasure maps. It's so fun. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Now, next up, I wanted to show you um, some cards from our design team with some other really cool ideas for Ahoy Matey. So here we have this awesome scene by Elena. I just love the little boat on the little lake there. I think that's so cute. And then Shari made this amazing treasure map with kind of almost like burnt and torn edges. I think it looks amazing. This card by Elise is so pretty. I love how she used the watercolor wishes paper to be the sandy island that the pirate is on. And then Letitia had a totally different idea. She used Lift the Flap to reveal a gift card, and I love her color palette. It's so pretty and perfect for summer. Next up, we have a card by Yainea, and she also created a cool torn treasure map. And all you have to do is tear the edges and then add that distress ink to those edges, and it's gonna make it look like a torn treasure map. And then on the inside, she used the largest lift the flap die, and you'll see that on the inside of that is a gift card, which I think is so cool and so perfect for the X marks the spot. And then here, Lynette's card, also with an amazing treasure map. I love how she put the lift the flap die on its side, and then when you lift it up, you can see the treasure in there, which is so cool. I am absolutely in love with Audrey's bright, sunny sky. That distress ink blending is so beautiful and perfect for this fun, summery pirate scene. And then Lizzie here has an awesome treasure map in the background. I love all those dotted trails that she did. And then Nicole has an amazing pop-up. So this is the front of the pop-up and you can see a sneak at some new dies in there too. And then when you open it, you have those little Ocean Wave pop-up add-ons there and the amazing treasure in there too, which I think is just so cool. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I cannot wait to see what you do with Ahoy Matey. So make sure to share with us. Have an amazing day. Bye. Thank you.